Hey guys, Zen up here, and today we are looking at the Floatron 2000. Well, it's actually probably what the BK uh, 80D, and this is a bug zapper insect killer, and it is effective up to one and a half acres, which probably is half of that. But we're gonna stick it right about there and plug it in with a extension cord to the trailer somewhere uh, right there and that should hopefully get all of the flying bugs and whatnot out of my face during the summertime and help feed yonder chickens over there so let's take this thing out of the box and see what we got we turned it on put it on a hook on the ground it's kind of got a little lean to it but We'll fix that later on. I just wanted to try it out. And this one I got because I read all the reviews on Amazon about all the other bug zappers and whatnot. And this one seemed to have the least drama involved and actually work. Um, I like that the, um, I don't know, metal zapper part is up and down with no bars that go across really. So if we hold it on at the top up here, right, I don't know if you can see it in there, that kind of glowy-ish line. And then down here at the bottom as well. So nothing really gets trapped in there. Um, this here seems big enough for most critters to get through. Anything that we're going to want to zap. And it's got plenty of holes on the bottom. So things can fall out, but I heard that this thing uh, works so well that it will clog up the bottom there. But I just want to turn it on tonight and see if there's anything in here that we can zap. See if we can get it working. So we'll just leave this up for a little bit. Sun's about to go down. Or is down. Oh, that's pretty. Sun's going down over there. So it should be getting dark soon. I ended up putting it on this side of the uh, internet connection in between the trailers so we get kind of this whole yard here area. This is really where we hang out in the summertime and so I wanted to get the most acreage usage out of all of that. And I wanted to keep it away from the doors of the trailer so we don't have bugs you know when we turn it off. Uh, flying into the trailer. So, we'll see how this thing works. Here we are in the middle of May. It's about 10 o'clock at night. And we have all of these little flying things uh, out. So I figured I would get the camera out and show you guys a few minutes of this thing doing what it does. Here we are the next morning, and look where the chickens go for their breakfast. Right underneath the zapper. Look at all the critters that are stuck to that thing. Underneath it, down in there, this does do the job, but it gets dirty, so we're going to have to get the air compressor on that. See a couple guys here that fried really good, they get stuck in there, 
when they get zapped, they're still connected when they die. So uh, they get fried. Oh, hey look, a little spider. You gonna get zapped? Where you at? Oh, there you are. Get zapped, little spider. It's the wrong spot for you. Actually, you probably get a lot of food in there. Okay, so something they don't tell you. This here is the extent of the cord that comes with it. So you are going to need a drop cord to get from wherever you put this thing to wherever it is you're gonna plug it in. Uh, next is, you're probably not gonna have this next to your house. And this high off of the ground, that's what, four-ish feet hanging off the ground. Uh, isn't the optimal range for it. It should be a lot higher. So you're going to need to get some kind of structure or something. If you have a porch, the furthest part of the um, awning for the porch or something might be okay. Uh, but you want to get it maybe 10 feet up, I guess. So it can shed all the light that just hits the ground here. Uh, it can just cover more space. But overall, this thing is awesome, and it's fun to watch, and wasn't really all that expensive. Um, we love it. So, only thing I think maybe I want to get a second one and hang it like off of that beam there or something for the chickens, because this is an excellent chicken feeder gives them a lot of extra protein well we'll give you guys a few more minutes of footage of it zapping at night because that's the fun part after the end of this video so stick around for that and as always don't forget to comment rate subscribe check us out on the website and we'll see you guys on the next one Look at them all just flying around there. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not.